afternoon, we are in the kitchen with Chef Mark Schubman, and today he's sharing a very special recipe in honor of a late friend, Chef. Yes, I had lost a very, very dear friend and colleague, a uh, chef that I worked with for many years, 10 years, a uh, wonderful man, very close friend, and just a really, really good soul. Mm -hmm. And he had such a unique cooking style. He was very indulgent. He really, I mean, he was just a powerhouse in the kitchen. Yeah. And in the industrial world of kitchens and professional kitchens, it's really important who you work with because it is a very high stress, you know, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. This guy was amazing. Yeah. I mean, he just made my life change. And I love him for it. I miss him. And this is a recipe that he actually did on a program on WMBD in 2012. So I want to wow. make it for you real quick. We start off with a filet, and this is just a uh, six ounce filet mignon. We're going to put that in a little bit of butter and olive oil. And we put that in a skillet and cook that to about medium rare to medium. Mm -hmm. And for that, we're going to finish it in the oven. So you can cook it as less as you want. You just want it seared on the outside. Then we're going to encrust it with a nice mixture of sausage and herbs. This is called a encrusted salmon or a filet. And we're going to take and start off with one pound of mild sausage. If you want to use Italian sausage, you can. Not necessary. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of horseradish. Again, William was a very indulgent cook. He liked a lot of heavy spices, which was awesome. We've got a teaspoon of fresh garlic. We have got Parmesan cheese that goes in there to help bind that. We've got mayonnaise. This is three quarters or a half a cup rather of mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and this helps it just kind of fluff up and and almost a souffle style look to it. And we've got Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to add about a cup and a quarter of that in there. We've got some salt and some pepper. And this just gets mixed together, which is so nice. And I do it with my hand because that's the easiest way yeah, to do get it. Get in there. It's great. <laughs> and then we just encrust this filet and we put that in the oven. And then we make a very quick sauce that goes with that. And I'll show you how that goes together here real quick, too. So this may look like, why? Why has he got his hand in there like that for? Because this is the way you do it. All right. You've got to be is, one with your food. Is, that's right. You have to understand they're terrified of spoons, so you have to use your hand. <laughs> so to that, we're going to go ahead and place some of that on top of our filet. And then it's about a two-ounce patty that goes on top of that. We'll put that over here in the oven. And then in our skillet, our same skillet, we're going to go ahead and add just a few more ounces of butter to that. And then we're going to add some fresh shallots okay. to that. And then this is the sauce. Part, this will be correct? the sauce. We nice. saute that together. And you just want to get these until they're a little bit translucent. Again, this is a pan sauce. It goes together very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And this really complements it very nice. So to that, we're going to add port wine. Now, if you want to use a red wine, you can. Port is a very, very nice. It's got a great flavor profile. We're okay. going to add about 3 quarters of a cup to that. You want to get that good and hot. If you want to cook off that alcohol, you can ignite that a little bit too. When it gets hot, and it'll burn off. There it is, flambe. Yeah, so we get that <laughs> cooking out of there. And once that settles down, we're just going to add a little beef stock to that, and then mound okay. a little butter into it, and it's really, really nice. Oh, it smells. Can you are smell just, that? Oh, and that's the nice thing about port wine. And as the wines reduce down and they cook mm -hmm. down, they thicken on their own, and they become almost to a corn syrup style. Uh, th consistency, and that's kind of the viscosity you want to have. To that, we just add some beef stock, and we let that thicken up real, real nice. Oh, yeah. Turn up our heat to about high. That'll reduce down, and then we're just going to mound it with some butter. Why do we do that? The butter gives it a very nice indulgent flavor, a very rich flavor, mm -hmm. and softens it up very nice, and also provides a nice sheen to the sauce. Wonderful. That goes with the steak. I think you're going to like it. Wonderful. I am so, so, so excited. We will do a taste test when we come back.